Welcome back to the channel everyone, and to this video on my top 10 tips and tactics for the Diafield Chronicle. The tips in this video all apply to the demo version of the game, and may change slightly with the full release, but should help give you a solid start as you can carry your demo progress into the full game. Without further ado, let's get into my top 10 tips. Yes, this may seem obvious, but don't forget to upgrade your equipment and characters in between battles. The increase in stats will make a huge difference in your effectiveness in battle. There are three different places you need to go for upgrades, the item shop, the institute, and the equipment screen menu. These can all be accessed at the HQ, but are also accessible in the pre-battle menu before you start each mission. As you'll learn early on, Flanking and attacking an enemy from behind grants you extra damage. Flanking is relatively easy to do as the enemies tend to attack whoever came into their sight first, meaning once they are engaged with your first unit, you can move the rest of your units around behind them for the bonus damage. Just be mindful of where other enemies are as you can be flanked too. Understood. Make the best use of your AoE attacks. All skills cost you energy points and have a cooldown timer, so try not to waste AoE attacks on a single enemy or groups of two. Generally a good rule of thumb would be to use AoEs on a group of three or more. If you need some help getting enemies to group up, try using the shield wall skill to draw them in and then unleash your AoEs. Some maps feature environmental sources of damage that can be used to great effect. In the demo, these come as explosive barrels. A great use of these is to send one unit in, preferably your cavalier as he is the fastest, to draw nearby enemies within range of the barrel and then use an archer or mage to shoot it and set it off. These barrels do massive damage and can take out multiple weaker enemies in one hit. Just be careful as doing this does take a little bit of timing both to hit the enemies and to not hit your own unit that you use to draw the enemies in. Very well. Whenever possible, draw out one enemy at a time. Oftentimes, enemies will be spaced out just enough for you to move one unit into their sight range and draw them out without other enemies seeing you. Completing the mission's bonus objectives, like not having anyone go down or completing the mission within a certain time, Rely on good management of your resources, like your energy points, HP, and items. Avoiding big battles and ending battles quickly is the key to using fewer of these resources. Understood. Take advantage of choke points when you have them. Controlling choke points is another good use of the shield wall skill. Using Shield Wall will keep all the enemies busy with the unit using it and line them up nicely for everyone else's AoE attacks. You can even use the Cavalier's Full Frontal Assault skill to get behind the enemy for the extra flanking damage. When an enemy is about to use an ability denoted by the red AoE marker, you can use any ability that inflicts Stun or the Shield Charge ability to interrupt it. When facing enemies that use abilities, it's a good idea to keep at least one of your stun abilities available at all times, as it is much easier and more effective to interrupt the ability than to try and move your units out of its range. I found the archer stun shot to be particularly useful in this way. Remember to bring potions into every battle. Health potions are very cheap and worth bringing with you. Just remember that when you buy them, you have to manually equip them before the battle. These potions are a must for some of the tougher fights where your healer can't always get to everyone in time. Battles can get hectic and things happen fast, so rather than trying to put the cursor over a specific unit to select it, use the select all button to pause quickly. From there, you can then cycle through to the unit that you want to select, or simply get the lay of the land for a second and decide your next move. When there are multiple objectives and a time limit, consider splitting up your units to accomplish multiple tasks at once. The simplest example is to have one unit grab a chest 
while the others push on to the next fight. Or, if you can split up to pick off two small groups of weak enemies at the same time, that can save you time too. Take advantage of every time-saving situation you can to complete those timed bonus objectives. I hope you enjoyed the video and can get some use out of my first tips video for the Dio Field Chronicle. I will have more content on this and other games in the future. Please leave a like and comment on any tips you have. They might just get mentioned in a future video. If you'd like to see more of my content, you can watch this video here. And don't forget to subscribe. We're getting close to 500 subscribers here on the channel, which will be a big milestone. And as always, thank you for watching, and keep on gaming.